Hello, my name is Camille DeAngelis and I am the author of The Boy From Tomorrow, a middle grade novel now available in paperback. This book is about two kids, Josie and Alec, living in the same house a hundred years apart and they form a friendship across the century that separates them through a hand-painted spirit board. So this is a long overdue video answering some reader questions that I've been receiving over the past year since the novel originally came out. So let's dive in. Number one, why is Josie and Cass's mom so mean? This is a great question. Truth is, many people who become parents are not psychologically or temperamentally equipped to become parents. They cannot give a child the love and attention that every child deserves. And in Lavinia's case, it was expected back in the day that every woman would marry and bear children, that that was her primary function in society, right? So this is what happens when a woman who shouldn't become a parent becomes a parent and then is resentful for it and blames her children. So that's essentially what is happening in this book. Number two, why didn't you call the novel The Girl From Yesterday? It is true that the novel could just as easily have been titled The Girl From Yesterday. Josie is in the 1915-1916 storyline and Alec, her friend from the future, is in the 2015-2016 storyline. But I decided to call it The Boy From Tomorrow because I have someone from the earlier storyline inspired by Alec in the future. He writes a play that he calls The Man From Tomorrow. And so it made sense to call Alec the boy from tomorrow. And that's why the title is as it is. Number three, have you ever used a Ouija board? No. And I recommend in the back of the book that you don't use one either. I'll just read this to you real quick. A word of advice. The character's use of the talking board in this story allows them to form a friendship across time, but if you attempt to use such a device in real life, your experience may be very different. Horror stories are only entertaining when they happen to other people, and so the author recommends you leave the talking board to the realm of fiction. My absolute favorite podcast in the world is called Jim Harold's Campfire. It's a call-in show where people share their true stories of the supernatural. And as you can imagine, there are many Ouija board stories in, the, in that podcast. And what seems to be the common thread and what like Ouija experts have said is that when you play, play with a Ouija board, you, it's basically like leaving your front door wide open, right? So what happens is some people, the honest ones, will walk by and they won't just walk into your house and try to steal anything and, and cause trouble, right? Most people won't do that. But if you leave the door wide open, eventually someone's going to come along who's like, yay, free stuff, right? So it's the same deal with supposedly these wandering spirits that you call in to your space as you are playing, playing with a Ouija board. So I want to show you the only Ouija board that I ever play with. This is a really cool little pin from my friend Marika Makula, who is um, also a middle grade author. You should check out her work. This is a very cool little pin that I sometimes wear when I do book events. This is the only Ouija board I play with. If you have any other questions about my novel, I would be happy to answer them by video. Please leave me a comment below, pin me on social media. You can also email me directly at cometparty at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.